everybody and welcome to the final episode of this special episode series on the Return to Jurassic Park DLC. Today we're going to be taking a look at the pterosaurs, all the different animations, uh, all the different skins and even what happens if they get hit by a hurricane which we're going to see by the end of this video because I don't even know what happens then. So we're going to first go through all of these skins. This is the original skin, the basic skin, which is of course the Jurassic Park 3 skin. And we should jump straight to it in a second. There it is. Oh, of course it's behind a dark area. Now this is all these Avery's. Ooh, she's talking. We all these Avery's have six pteranodons in them. Oh, don't you sound absolutely horrendous? Oh, nice. That sounded a bit like a compi call, actually. Look at the detail. You've got vines swinging there. There's fog in the air. You've got the, uh, oh, yes, please. Will you start flying around and stop squawking? You know what? I think he's actually stuck in this position because everybody else has taken up all the other animation spots. Ah, there you go. He can finally go somewhere. Look at that. Oh, you even get the sound of the air. Oh, it looks so good! Woohoo! Where's he going? Where are you going? Where are you gonna land? Those claws. Oh, you're gonna land back at the same place you're at before. Oh, fantastic. Right, well, that is the basic one. Uh, this one is the Alpine Pattern. It's a shame you can't change anything with the Avery. Would be really nice to have been able to have done that. Off it goes. Where's it gonna go? Nobody knows. Oh, it's right next to the uh, walkway. <gasps> Ooh. You can pretend you're, you're like in here and looking at it. Oh, nice look at the head there. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, in this one, what we'll do is we'll uh, have a look at the views. So this is the kind of regular view that you get. You can zoom in. Whoa, that guy is moving so quick. Jesus. You can have a regular view. You can also click Q or E, respectively, to change the camera. There you go, there's the uh, Jurassic Park 3 uh, gate where they left it open on the other side, on the inside of the hatchery. Yeah. So there are 10 unique views that you can see inside the Avery. Uh, each one highlights a different place, a different um, area where a Trandon can land, or just gives you a different perspective shot. Like there, that looks glorious. And there's our pteranodon there, squawking happily away. So you can pretend you're either walking through or that you're a camera. Oh, hello. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, that was nice. I didn't realize that we could be here with a pteranodon that basically is right here. Hello, are you coming back? Anyway, are you coming back? Oh, yeah, you are. Ooh, look at you. Stuff of nightmares, aren't you, buddy? Or the peckies. So then, oh my god, I haven't released any of these. Oh, these are the jungle ones. Oh, well, at least we're going to get a good look at the jungle one. Right, are you the green one? Oh. Now, I thought this was a skin that was to highlight, uh, or at least to be a homage to the Jurassic World Pteranodons, just because of the red head that it's got. I mean, it might be. It might not be. Um, but there you have it. That's that one. There's not really much else to say. They, they all perform the same kind of thing. Um, they all do the same animations, but they just look a little bit different. It's unfortunate that we don't have Dimorphodon or any of the other, uh, you know, Tranodons that we've had. Um, like, uh, I think we even had a Quetzal in Jurassic World. This... By the looks of it, it's supposed to be a little nod towards the Lost World pterodactyl. I would assume so. Just with that head, the blue there, it just looks very similar. And that one is the rainforest skin. What have we got here? Oh, that was the jungle. What's this one? We got the wetland skin. I think that's the last one, actually. We might have a vivid. Oh, no, we have a coastal. That's right. Okay, yeah, this one's the tapijara. Ah, that's much better. Uh, this one is basically just... Oh, then you go... Oh, you're not in the shadow. Okay. It's just like 
They've got the green slider on the hue and saturation and just put the green up. <laughs> That's all it is. There's not really much else to say. It's just, it's just a green version. Not one of my favorites, kind of, if I'm not going to lie, a tiny bit boring. Right, now, I only got a glimpse of this one in the playthrough. I thought this one looked kind of cool. Oh, yes. The Indoraptor of the skies. Let's see if we can get a better view. Oh, no, I hate those ones. They just squawk for ages. There you go, that's better. I want to try and get one mid-flight, but it's it's not really working out for us. And those are, one, two, three, four, five, six, all of the Pteranodon skins that you can get in the game. Now, Pteranodons don't really do anything. They act as like a viewing gallery where people can go in and view them. But, 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 the question is what happens when they break out? Heavy storms, please. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So none of these have any storm protection on them. I'm assuming they can take weather damage. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go into capture mode because it looks the prettiest. And let's see if we can get a hurricane. Mm. Usually a hurricane kicks in. Oh god, it's a heavy one as well. But we might not even need a hurricane in order to see. There, here it is. Where is it? Oh, it's perfect. Okay, well, it's over here. Let's see where it swings. Still starting. It is coming to the left. Yeah, it's coming left. Looks like it might go towards the gate. No, no, it's moving straight up. Fantastic. Just go that way. Go that way. Go on. You know you want to. I like how these guys are just... They're kind of fine just walking around. Look, that guy's got the right idea. Oh, no, never mind. They're coming back. No, it's going the wrong way. God damn it. Do you remember when a hurricane would go over a Brachiosaurus and it would splat? Do you remember that? I don't think that happens anymore. It's such a shame. There's such a bright red of explosionness. Well, the first hurricane is unfortunately kind of disappointing. Unless we have some damaged buildings. Oh! Oh, hold on! Oh! Did we just lose our Tyrannons? Have any of them escaped? Oh, you've escaped! Oh, hold on! We, we've, it's happened! And I didn't even notice! Okay, this is just a regular... Uh, break in the Avery. But let's see if another one gets out. Now, supposedly... These guys, they just fly off into the distance and then they're never seen again. But what's interesting is that, the, oh, here we go, here we go. Woo, off it goes, straight up, that it? It just goes straight up, it, it's just flying straight up in a storm. I, I, I don't even know what to say. He doesn't even look like he's going up anymore. It looks like he's just floating sideways. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. Maybe the next one will look a little bit better. Oh, now now he's vanished. All right. Oh, we got one coming. We got one coming. We are. And you're just going to do the same on you. Yep, he's just gone. Just gone. Yep. All right, then. Well, that's... Uh, well, they don't all escape at once, which is quite interesting. They sort of do it one by one. Uh, so it gives you more of a chance to... Get on it if you've missed it. He's still up there. Oh my god. Now he's gone. He just popped. So by the time one leaves, I'm assuming another one sort of lines up its animation in order to come out. It would have been fantastic to have just looked over here and to have seen loads of Tyrannodons escape. Oh, there you go. There goes another one. <laughs> I mean, it's the easiest thing to program, in it? Trying on escapes. What does it do? Just flies straight up and gets burnt up into the sun. <laughs> Tss, like Icarus. There are a few more holes, but I mean, there doesn't really seem to be another hole that they could get out. That's pretty much it. So guys, that's going to wrap up all of... Oh, wait, what? How did... Oh, he must have ran round. Oh, also, don't forget to check out some sick new merch down the link in the description below. And I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.